Artists in Rich Zambia is a book by Anna Ziambo. The artist works at a desk in Lusaka district. She writes poetry and stories for eight hours a day. Her working hours are devoted to creative writing. She writes poems and prose for 160 hours a month. Her monthly salary is 1,200 Zambian kwacha. Poets are self-employed workers in the creative economy. Professional poets labor in the knowledge industry. The Republic of Zambia recognizes that poets are productive workers in the arts sector. Poems are cultural artifacts that contain artistic knowledge of Zambian heritage. Poets provide evidence about the status of the human condition in post-colonial Zambia. Poetry reveals what African people are capable of articulating. Listening to Zambian poetry is an opportunity to hear the ideas that African artists can express. Reading poems is a chance to study the vocabulary available to Zambian writers. What can African people achieve with creative writing? Poetry is a demonstration of capabilities. She is capable of describing ideas with words. She exhibits her capabilities through creative writing. The poems in her oeuvre are written descriptions of knowledge. She describes the contents of her intellect in poetry. Expressing knowledge with written language is a valuable skill in the domestic economy of Zambia. There is demand for creative writing. The people of Zambia read poetry. Audiences in Africa listen attentively to knowledgeable artists. Zambian poetry is popular on social media. She self-publishes poems on the internet. Her poetry products are digital economic artifacts. Readers and listeners deposit money to her e-money number. Today, she earned 20 Zambian kwacha from a reader in Kalikiliki who appreciates the poems on her blog. The poet earns money. The artist creates wealth in Zambia. Artists in Rich Zambia is a book of creative nonfiction by Anna Ziambo. I am Anna Ziambo, writer in the Republic of Zambia. This artwork was made in Luseka District by Anna Ziambo for Anna Ziambo Publications. Artists in Rich Zambia is a book by Anna Ziambo. Poets are workers in Zambia's creative economy. Poems are economic products that people purchase with banknotes and coins. 
Poetry books are valuable. Poetry events sell tickets. The people of Zambia buy poetry merchandise. Poetry services contribute to the gross domestic product of Zambia. Poets increase Zambia's GDP by trading poems on the free market. There is demand for Zambian poetry in the global economy. The government of Zambia demands for poems. The Southern African Development Community demands for Zambian poetry artifacts. The common market for Eastern and Southern Africa demands for poetry products made in the Republic of Zambia. The Commonwealth of Nations demands that Zambian citizens write poetry in the English language. The African Union demands for native Zambian poems. The European Union demands for poems written by Zambian nationals. The United Nations demands for indigenous Zambian poems that describe African cultural heritage. There is voracious demand for Zambian poetry in the global trade networks of the international free market. Poets labor with language to supply poems. Supply instigates work for poets in the creative economy. Supply is productive work. Poets work with words to supply poetry products. Supplying poems is an employment opportunity. Poets employ themselves. Supplying poetry creates jobs for self-employed workers in the knowledge industry. Poets practice their profession by supplying poems to readers and listeners on the free market. Supply is trade. Zambian poets export digital poems on social media to earn foreign exchange wealth from clients in the global economy. Digital poems are sustainable economic products for trading in international markets. Trading poetry on the internet is sustainable commerce and global supply networks. Professional poets in Zambia trade poems on the World Wide Web, internet applications, radio and television. Listeners and readers access poetry on telecommunications devices. People in Africa purchase digital poetry products with electronic money. The Zambia Telecommunications Company offers expedient electronic money services on smartphones. Poets earn income when clients deposit cash to the e-money number linked to a poem on the internet. Electronic money transactions enable self-employed poets to secure remuneration.
people who demand for Zambian poems have the means to pay. Digital commerce technology empowers poets to obtain wages. Technological advancements in the third millennium permit people to work as full-time professional poets. Poems are profitable in the 21st century. Working as a poet is sustainable. The poetry profession is feasible. The poetry trade is viable. Poets in the Republic of Zambia are economic agents with an official mandate to create wealth using artistic productivity. Economic products sustain human life in the Republic. The Republic is a place where people are preoccupied with economics. Citizens in the Republic are physically connected to economic products such as clothes, chairs, smartphones, buildings, and roads. Human beings are attached to artistic products such as images, songs, plays, stories, and poems. The Republic is poor when there is a shortage of products. The Republic is rich when citizens create products. Citizens expand the gross domestic product of Zambia by working productively. Valuable products boost Zambia's GDP. Poems have value in the creative economy. Poets write to enrich the Republic of Zambia. Artists Enrich Zambia is a book by Anna Ziambo. I am Anna Ziambo, writer in the Republic of Zambia. The genre of this book is creative nonfiction. The publisher is Anna Ziambo Publications. Artists Enrich Zambia is a book by Anna Ziambo. Professional Artists Enrich Africa. The continental creative economy generates jobs for artists in 54 African nations. One billion people in Africa consume artistic services. 1,000 accredited higher education institutions train African students to produce artistic artifacts. Creative students Learn professional skills in the humanities faculty at African colleges and universities. Students in Africa become licensed professional artists when they earn certificates, diplomas, and degrees for creative writing, film, stage theater, media, performance, dance, music, entertainment, crafts, games, design, architecture, visual arts, fashion, folklore, 
and aesthetics. Professional artists work productively in the African creative economy. Professional artists are problem solvers. The humanities faculty trains African artists to illustrate social problems and design solutions. Social analysis is the focus of higher education in the humanities. Artists analyze human life in Africa. The humanities teach creative students to make artworks that describe the features of post-colonial life in the 21st century. Artists describe Africa. Creative students in the humanities produce written, visual, and oral descriptions of solutions to social problems. Prescribing policy solutions in the arts is the highest levels of humanities education. Advanced artists in Africa have authority to prescribe policies. An African artist who completes higher education in the humanities becomes a doctor of philosophy. Advanced artists who earn doctorates make policy prescriptions in the creative economy. Policy is the pinnacle of arts education in the humanities. Artists craft policy after analyzing humanity, identifying social problems, and describing solutions. Policy contains the principles of humanities education. Crafting policy is the culmination of an arts training centered on care for society, consideration for values, and concern for humanity. Advanced artists in the creative economy craft policies based on humanity's knowledge. Policy experts lead the arts sector in Africa. African artists contribute to monetary policy by popularizing economic knowledge. The people of Africa learn about wealth creation from artists on social media, radio, billboards, newspapers, magazines, and television. Mainstream artists advertise affluence. Commercial artists manufacture images of prosperity. Fine artists question materialism. Ecological artists claim that consumerism is responsible for climate change in Africa. Intellectual artists disseminate financial literacy. Conscious artists advocate for economic equality. Political artists demand for social justice and monetary policy. 
professional artists in Africa popularize economics. In the Republic of Zambia, artists collaborate with the central bank to achieve economic growth. Artists assist the Zambian state to implement monetary policy. Artists simplify economic development for the people of Zambia. The masses consume monetary policy principles in radio advertisements, music videos, poems, books, newspaper articles, photographs, and television programs. Zambian artists are useful. The people of Zambia gain knowledge about productivity when artists release content in the media. Citizens witness economic growth when Zambian artists produce merchandise for the market. Artists illustrate that the domestic economy grows in size when people make products for the masses. Zambian artists are paragons of productivity. Artists develop the domestic economy of Zambia with productive work. African artists practice their professions by applying knowledge of productivity. An artist is a productive worker. Productive Africans create wealth for the continent. The people of Africa prosper when local artists work productively in the creative economy. Productive African people produce prosperity. Workers in the arts sector are productive. Artists enrich Africa. Artists enrich Zambia is a book by Anna Ziambo. I am Anna Ziambo, writer in the Republic of Zambia. The genre of this book is creative nonfiction. The category is creative writing. The publisher is Anna Ziambo Publications. Artists in Rich Zambia is a book by Anna Ziambo. Zambian artists are human capital in the domestic economy. Artists represent the wealth in Africa. People witness the prosperity in Zambia through artists. Creative workers in the arts sector display prowess, skill, knowledge, aesthetics, and accomplishments. Artists are ambassadors of Zambia's human capital achievements. Human capital development is a feature of the arts profession. Skills develop human capital. An artist 
is a skilled worker. Artists display skills. Improving artistic skills through practice is human capital progression. Producing arts is a demonstration of human capital capability. Skilled workers are capable of productivity. Creative workers demonstrate prowess through productive work. Creative products are indicators of human capital development. Making art is an accomplishment. Productive artists contribute to Zambia's human capital achievements. The Republic of Zambia achieves human development when citizens exhibit skills. Artists are highly visible citizens. Visibility is a requirement in the arts profession. Zambian artists broadcast skills in the media. Artistic skills are on public display in all 10 provinces. Zambia achieves development when local artists express ideas with language skills. Zambia earns distinction when skilled artists articulate knowledge in English and indigenous languages. Zambia attains a developed image when artists create beauty with aesthetic knowledge. Artists give Zambia a good image. Skilled citizens develop Zambia. Local artists provide evidence that the people of Zambia are skilled. Strengthening human capital is a priority in Zambia's national development plans. Artists collaborate with the Ministry of National Development Planning to implement human capital programs. In 1966, the first National Development Plan promulgated ideological humanism. In 2017, the seventh National Development Plan prescribed skills. Human achievement is an official policy in the Republic of Zambia. The nation has written strategies that guide citizens to pursue human development. Artists popularize the themes and activities in the National Development Plan books. Artists universalize human development policies through songs, poems, stories, digital photographs, and videos. The people of Zambia gain knowledge of human capital development through artists and mass media. Artists diversify Zambia's tourism product. Creative workers attract tourists to view art in 116 districts within Zambia. 
tourists travel to see contemporary painters in Copper Belt province, Bimbuza and Lundazi, Shimunenga in southern province, traditional artisans at the Luangwa River, avant-garde musicians in central province, Impis at Mutenguleni, experimental poets in Mongu, Makishi at the Zambezi River, modern designers in Mbala, concerts in Kasama, Quenje in Chama, indigenous singers at the Luumbu River, and new stage theater productions at the Lusaka Playhouse. There are diverse artistic services in all 10 provinces of Zambia. Domestic tourists value contemporary Zambian art. A tourist from Sitwe village travels to Lusaka city for modern artistic services. The city of Lusaka is an aesthetic tourism destination for 10 million Zambian citizens who reside in traditional rural areas. There is nationwide frenzy for modern artists who pioneer new technologies, introduce cutting edge trends, and flaunt the latest urban fashion. Contemporary artists from Lusaka fascinate the masses. Modern art lures domestic tourists to Lusaka. Contemporary art in Lusaka is a spectacle that invites Zambian tourists to enter new architecture, cinemas, museums, libraries, studios, cafes, music shops, fashion houses, business centers, art fairs, craft markets, entertainment domes, amusement arcades, comedy clubs, poetry venues, concert arenas, creative offices, galleries, and theaters. The artistic infrastructure in Lusaka City is spectacular. Domestic tourists are astonished spectators in Lusaka's arts industrial complex. The Republic of Zambia recognizes that the arts sector in the national creative economy is situated within the knowledge industry. The Ministry of Tourism and Arts directs citizens to disseminate knowledge in poetry, plays, lyrics, stories, books, television shows, radio programs, and films. Zambian writers create written scripts for the knowledge industry. 
performers and actors read scripts. Literacy is essential for creative workers in the knowledge industry. Literate artists represent Zambia in the international film industry, world theater, and the global creative writing trade. Zambian artists broadcast written knowledge through mass media. Scripted knowledge is valuable in the global economy. There is a market for written poems, books, and scripted programs. Artists enrich Zambia by writing and reading in the creative economy. Literacy is an indicator of human capital development. Written poetry, legible prose, and scripted plays provide evidence that the people of Zambia are literate. Writing is a human capital achievement. Reading is a human development accomplishment. Literacy is progressive. Literate people are capital. Zambia earns merit on the Human Development Index when citizens write and read. Creative workers in the knowledge industry give people opportunities to read. Great artists inspire people to write. Writing is mandatory for artists who work on the interconnected network. Zambian artists write on the internet to promote products, interact with clients, and communicate with investors. The people of Zambia write comments to express opinions about art. Citizens write blogs about life in Zambia. Writers self-publish Zambian poetry on social media. People read Zambian stories on smartphones. This generation is literate. Literacy is flourishing in Zambia. The knowledge industry increases literacy. The creative economy enriches human development. Zambian artists strengthen human capital. Artists have human capital achievements in the Republic of Zambia. Artists in Rich Zambia is the book by Anna Ziambo. I am Anna Ziambo, writer in the Republic of Zambia. The genre of this book is creative nonfiction. The publisher is Anna Ziambo Publications.